So, apparently, back in 2012, the world ended. You didn't notice? Yeah, me neither. But according to one of the juiciest internet conspiracy theories out there, the folks over at CERN, you know, the people who smashed tiny particles together for science, actually ripped a hole in the fabric of reality. Yep. Supposedly, they opened a portal to a parallel universe using the Large Hadron Collider, because obviously that's what scientists do on their lunch breaks. Let's rewind for a second. CERN stands for the European Organization for Nuclear Research, but since that's a mouthful, we just call it CERN. It's home to the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, the world's biggest and most powerful particle accelerator, basically a giant underground donut where protons race at nearly the speed of light and smash into each other. Why? To better understand fundamental physics, not to summon demons or peek into alternate dimensions. Sorry to disappoint. Now, here's where the conspiracy kicks in. Around 2012 and a year already infamous thanks to that whole Mayan calendar apocalypse thing, CERN detected the Higgs boson, a.k.a. the God particle. And some people think that discovery accidentally destroyed our universe and shifted us into a new one. Their evidence? Oh, just the usual. Mandela effects. Weird vibes. Berenstain bears suddenly spelled with an A. And the fact that Fruit of the Loom apparently never had a cornucopia. Mind wand blown, right? But wait, what is the Mandela effect? And why do people think it's proof we jumped into another reality? The Mandela effect is when large groups of people remember something that never happened. Like Nelson Mandela dying in prison in the 1980s. He didn't. Or the Monopoly man having a monocle. He doesn't. Conspiracy theorists claim these memory glitches are caused by dimensional shifts. Scientists, on the other hand, call it, you remembered it wrong. But hey, where's the fun in that? Back to CERN. In addition to supposedly annihilating our universe, it's also accused of satanic rituals, time travel experiments, and my personal favorite eye, hiding a get a gateway to hell under Switzerland. These claims usually come from grainy photos, blurry videos, and the kind of people who think research means watching six hours of TikTok while ignoring peer-reviewed science. Here's the truth. The Higgs boson discovery didn't destroy reality. In fact, it helped confirm the standard model of particle physics, the framework we use to understand how the universe works. If anything, it made things more stable, not less. And the LHC? It's not some doomsday machine. It smashes particles to simulate conditions just after the Big Bang, helping us unlock mysteries like dark matter, antimatter, and why gravity's such a weird little gremlin. Also, and I can't stress this enough, scientists are not out here trying to open portals to Narnia. They're trying to answer real questions about the universe, like what happened in the first few microseconds after the Big Bang, or why there's more matter than antimatter. You know, the kind of stuff that actually matters. So why do these conspiracy theories persist? Because they're fun. Way more fun than saying, I don't understand quantum field theory. It's easier to say CERN broke the universe than to admit that particle physics is, well, hard. And, let's face it, people love a good mystery. Add in some fancy machines, some scientific jargon, and a little apocalyptic flair, and boom. You've got the perfect viral theory. Who needs facts when you've got vibes? Now, does this mean everything at CERN is totally understood? Of course not. Science is about discovery. But does that mean they accidentally created a parallel dimension? Not even close. Here's what is real. The LHC is one of the most amazing scientific instruments ever built. The Higgs boson exists. The Mandela Effect is a fascinating glimpse into how memory works, not a sign that we're in Universe 2.0. And yes, the universe is still weird, wonderful, and mostly intact. 
So next time someone says CERN opened a portal, just smile, nod, and remember. The truth might not be as exciting, but it's a heck of a lot more useful. If you enjoyed this myth demolition, hit that like button, subscribe for weekly uploads, and remember, facts don't care about your conspiracy theories. See you next time at the factory.